John Bain. I want to welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival Modded. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because here we are gathering up some Kern. I love the Kern. Kern's good. Um, actually, in the vanilla gameplay, we didn't really do much Kern because, you know, I bypassed the, 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 the walk milk, the Muwoks. And, um,. I'm not, and I used it a little bit just when we got started on this game to kind of make sure I had a little sustenance going on. But we're actually gathering for something else, and I've been hitting up some grinding going on and finished cleaning up all the uh, the stone uh, spawns behind the uh, mechanic workstation, workshop, whatever. And I uh, did some running on some uh, POIs and just, just got a bunch of little things done. And this, this actually feels really good uh, so far with how the gathering is and stuff. And uh, the reason why we're, we're grabbing corn Kern, if you will, uh, is that we can actually use that to make gas, ethanol, if you will, but it's gasoline here. Um, and we're going to head back, and it's actually really nice with the gathering mod with how much uh, gasoline we can make with it. Uh, I still gather some oil because we need to get clams and stuff like that for, for, for adhesives and whatnot, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And uh, just one thing I want to clear up too from the last episode, I was mistaken about the amount you get from refinery. I was thinking of something else. Uh, what the, the mod does is increase the amount of metal chance out of like stone blocks that you can get. So anyway, here and here we have actually, where's it at parts? We have three different gasolines. The one that we're really familiar with, which is the oil. Then there's the corn, corn if you will. And then you can also use potato seeds and chemical which I thought was pretty neat, but this is the one and you can go around and just do a few runs, but like, and, and grab a decent amount of it. And it, it, it works out pretty good for me. Oh, also I've made more chests. We're trying to get ahead of our, our storage procedures of stuff. And I've been growing more food and as you can see, we've gotten more blocks, uh, more blocks made. And we have some more honeycomb because we're going to be using some of that. I think today, I don't kind of like, there's like a lot of stuff we can do. Look at, look, 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 already 38. That makes me really happy. Um, I did use a little bit of circuit boards for some other stuff. Um, I do need to go get some extra due to clam run, I think. And the chemical is only from what we've got from POI so far. There's some more current right there. We'll use that. And I have backup gas. This is amazing because we just got this much here. I, as you can see, I unlocked one more tier of our craft bot because, again, right now we're limited on stuff, um, like how much room we got for stuff, whatnot, so, uh, well, how much we can spend our components on. We just can't, like... I haven't done any massive grinding because I feel like I'm enjoying these steps a little bit. And it's been kind of cool just to kind of approach it with what we have and make the most of it. So it's been really fun. I've, I've been having a great time. It's been amazing. Let me show you what we've destroyed back here. Um, let's see. Oh, are these ready yet? They are not. Um, I had this. I actually I made this chest. This was actually on. Um, I spent some stuff. So when I was clearing out this one, this one, and that one of the stone, I started really getting a lot to manage the resource collector. So I, I went ahead and sprung for that. Uh, we do have three resource collectors now, and there's a refinery put to the side. Just cleaned it up. I should have put this on the side when I got on here. Let's go here. I, would, I honestly set up kind of late doing the little bit of grinding that I did, but it was like, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so that means we'll be able to collect stuff. We've already gotten, there's 20, there's another stack of gas right there. That was really nice. And um, we'll put you here, we'll put you there, we'll put you here, and then we'll move the oil down like that. And this will look better like this. There we go. That looks good. Anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, I do need to eat. I have tomatoes in my bar. That's really nice. So uh, what we've got, why I got all that honeycomb and stuff too, uh, is because I want to be able to make some of the bigger wheels today. I want to see how those things are going to work. Um, and with the easiness of having a gas engine, I'm just trying to get my bearings on everything. And easiness of, I guess I could put the current in here with the rest of it. They can hang out for a little while. Um, of the stuff, like uh, getting gas stuff, we can kind of run with mach gas machines for a little longer. Uh, gas machines. <laughs> Engines. For a little while longer. Um, I had some other comments about should do this and that and this and that. Like, I really don't have a lot of stuff to really be doing like what we're doing last season. And I, some of the people commented about what I could do. Uh, I, I, they comment on videos from the vanilla and so and I've, that I've done. <laughs> but I appreciate the, the suggestions. Um, anyway, what are we doing? We're get Oh, yeah. All right. So we have a bigger wheel and we have a biggest wheel. And the biggest wheel, it costs a lot of wood, which I've done some scrap wood and stuff. And it is so nice that stuff grows back. It is just, 
it's just nice. It's it's kind of nice because I, I, I really, in most survival games, especially where I'm building a base, I don't like clear cutting around where I'm living because I, I like the natural look of the environment typically. And when you clear cut it, it just is like, hmm. All right. All right. So, uh, wow, that's going to be expensive. Uh, is there any difference in anything? Let's find out wow, what a wheel looks like. Screw it. <laughs> also today, we're going to go ahead and make the recycle bot. So, uh, 10, 10. Oh, that is kind of expensive too, but it is. What is it worth? Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it for you. We're doing it for you guys. I probably would not do it right now, but we're going to check it out. But we're also going to check out this dang wheel too. Okay. Craft that too before I can back out of it. All right. Let's see how humongous this wheel is. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Okay. It is definitely pretty big. I wonder how well the bearings could actually handle that. I mean, really, like, is the bearing, are these, is the wheels going to be able to get, like, you know what I mean? That's actually, it was a total waste, I think, for me, because the clearance off the ground will get, will off, well, we could probably make something work. I wonder how well these things turn, and there's only, I'd have to make three more, and I, I can't spend that right now. That is, look how big that wheel is, y'all. I could put that, like, right here, it could attach to it. You would it'd look like it was part of the dang build, because it's so big. Holy crap, that's big. It's not centered, but hey, I don't think I'll be able to put, get it centered anyway. No, it's not going to go. Whatever. Okay, you can hang out up there. All right, so the recycle bot, we just made that. It's right here. Uh... And it's right there. Yes, it is. Okay, let's check out you, Mr. Recyclebot. Hello. Oh. What? Oh. Okay, so it has recipes to break down things into different form. Oh, okay. That's not too bad, actually. And then, you know, the options of what you use to make it. Okay. And that makes scrap metal, huh? Oh, interesting. And that'll make 30 out of one of those? Oh, my lord. Okay. Huh. Actually, I like that a lot. Oh, we can break down the beds for some cotton, too, if we needed to. Plastic blocks from that, really. Um, can I pick up this and see what it, if it does that? There's one right here. Let's see. Let's see if it makes it. Let's craft you right now. And it's interesting. I, I mean, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Okay. And that'll make plastic blocks too. We just got 30 plastic blocks from that. It has decent buoyancy, uh, friction, middle weight, middle durability, low. I, I like that. Cool. Very, I mean, just the fact that we can make this, this that's actually a nice options there. I thought it would be more limited, to be honest. That's where where my kind of amazement came from. I thought we'd be limited uh, more so than we are here. Is there anything that goes in here? Okay, so you can, if you want to go specifically to parts and stuff like that, that's really good, actually. So it looks like shocks across, or suspension, then we have seats, generally speaking, and is there anything else other than the seats? It doesn't look like it. So we have seats, suspension, um, then we have mattresses. Okay. Okay, and then on the block side of things, we can actually get scrap from some decent stuff. And we get five from the top of an antenna. We get 50 from a cooler. Holy crap. Wow. So that actually gives value. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, thank you for that. Greeny heads actually were something besides mounting the wall, which I still like having our wall and stuff like that. But that is that is nice. I like that. I wonder how well it works with an integrated system with the craft bot in it, too. So you could have a mixture of things. So just be kind of, you have to be real careful what you queue up, I would think. I almost would want that separate all the time. Okay. Wow. Um, hmm. I think what we're going to do, uh, let's see, I don't have my chest on there and I don't have any open ones just yet, but we could probably afford to spend the cash flow. Uh, I need to go get some clams. Is that what we need to do? We need to get some clams because I'm thinking about. Do we need for that? I don't want to spend that. That. Uh, do we have enough in here? Did I have enough? I had like five, right? I had five left. Yeah, that works for me. Let's make. I'm gonna make two more of these chests, and then I'm gonna head on over to 
and put them on on the vehicle and then i'm gonna head on over to the one of the towns the little farmer area town things and take some of the pieces i'm gonna come back and break them down see how see how nice it is you guys you know the deal we'll be right back all right welcome back and i didn't disassemble the whole place but i grabbed a bunch of stuff um from the place and got a decent amount of scrap wood from it too and some nice fence block uh, which is nice. So let's see something here. Uh, let's go to blocks and I've got these out and it's fully unlocked for uh, Okay, okay, so let's just scrap all those. Oh, we can just break down the boxes too. Uh, oh, we can break down toilet paper I didn't realize that was a thing too. Nice. The thing too is we can actually make it all if you know Like uh, we can actually end up uh, Crafting the pieces we scrapped out in the road once we are able to get resources a lot easier So I really don't mind Oh, we can get we can get rid of all of these now too. That is super nice. That is very convenient and nice. So if I go into you now, <coughs> excuse me, I just breathe in some saliva. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god, that turns them into something I can use. That is so really, 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 really good. I'm fine with that. That makes me happy. I can break down those. Get 15 scrap, uh, and then we can always turn that into regular metal. Oh, that is so good. Hey, and that breaks down to the tier three. Oh, that's that's actually a little cheaty, but I understand why because of how much they've made the component kits cost to craft inside you, uh, this guy over here. Um, let's see here. Let's just grab some of this stuff and just see. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap it all and see what we end up with in in the for the end product. How about that? Yeah, let's do that. All right, welcome back. It's been several in-game days. It's actually taken quite a while to do this, but I just want to show you the spot and what I was left behind. That's it. This had three buildings in it and a bathroom in the back there. And yeah, and I um, I have a couple of the fresh signs back at my base and sale signs. I, I wasn't sure if I could grind them or not the first time. And I left everything that I could really grind. I don't know. I think I do the pots, but I, I left the, the nice pot of plants. You know what I'm saying? So that, that I want to make sure we did a, just a solid test on how much the recycle bot will yield from an entire place and I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. Also, I, I, wanna, I something else too I wanna talk about. Um, some people said, if you're gonna go like this with modded, why don't you just use the dev command stuff? I have a thing, I, I don't like creative kind of style mode games that much because you don't have any diversion from just the building. I like the whole package and this just lightens up some of the other stuff. So like if I'm in the middle, uh, I'm ran out of stuff for building or I needed a break, it's not like I gotta spend like half a day or a whole day grinding to make something that ends up lagging out and I can't use it anyway because that's what was happening in the vanilla series so uh, for me like I have a good diversion I still need to go gather stuff I still need to go gather stuff and farm and everything and <laughs> like I just did there and um that to me is like part of the game and I like how it just lightens that up some with that said I ended up spending the mats to make a second chest because we needed them so everything that I could break down, I broke down the mattresses, everything. So I didn't organize it that well, but there's a lot of scrap wood, like a crap ton of scrap wood. We got scrap metal. I guess we should, could do an actual count on the stacks of scrap metal because that's probably the most valuable thing out of all this. And then up here, too. So we ended up getting over 1500 scrap metal out of that place by using the recycle bot. That's that's I will, I'm going to go and say it's really nice. The stone is from the uh, I think a base plate of the, the the bathroom and somewhere else I think. Also we got 16 of the tier three metal I believe that's the tier three yeah yeah and we still have some of the screws and stuff left. Those are all the lights we got. Yeah, so a tier three metal out of that 16 of them. That's really nice, especially at this phase. Um, let's go ahead and take out these and just throw this stuff in here. So I, I I took apart the frames of everything as you guys saw along with stuff here. So. Uh, that's why everything looks like it does. Let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. That's oh, that's over 750 plastic alone right there. And then, oops, you can go here. And that's over uh, 600, 650 on the screens, which is just part of like normally taking apart one of those places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, and there's 15. There's 17. That is really, really good. That what is that? That's over 4,000 wood right there. Over 4,000 scrap wood. Um, that's solid. Now, some people might say, uh, you shouldn't, that's the, uh, that they, they think it's cheating or something, um, or whatnot. If, it, if it's something you don't like, just don't, don't play with it. Don't, don't build it. Don't make it. The rest of the mod's really nice too. But if it's something you don't like, just, just don't use it. 
Um, I'll probably, I'm not, that was, uh, I would say looking probably about, I would say about a half hour and 45 minutes to get that. I'm interested in seeing how the rest of it balances out, but that is pretty strong. Um, but it's interesting too, to do the testing and see what the deal is because, you know, the assumptions, you know, are not good, you know, finding out the facts of the matter. Uh, that, that was part of it too, I believe. It's, it's, we're, it's such, such a number of stuff. So um, I, I like options too. So there is options for that. I mean, these are all base mats, uh, plastic, maybe not, or or the screens, but the, the scrap metal and the, the wood itself is still base mat. So you still have the time it's going to take to to do what you got to do with it too. But I think it's pretty interesting um, to see what, what that is. So I'm glad we got to share that with you guys. Uh, that That's interesting. I'm, I'm eating tomatoes because it's interesting. I need to actually drop some off. We've been I've been farming tomatoes as we, oh we had these sale signs too. I need to go. I think I'm gonna go drop them back off at the spot. Let's see. And we have we're actually getting pretty good on tomatoes now. Uh, that nine spot garden and just just making sure it's continuously running is pretty good. So this is the stuff I, I brought back with me that we don't need to have here. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna reset up my garden. I'm gonna go and get some water on. I'm gonna go drop these off and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I just did a run on six or seven POIs, and um, here are the results. So you can see, you guys saw how much I had before. There is a, getting a nominal amount of, of 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 controller parts and a decent amount of circuit boards from the runs. Um, the ex extensive amount of oil and gas and uh, chemicals, and then I took off to the chest I had, and where to, I got another couple of those. I did, and I got some. I got some carpet blocks as a drop. <laughs> so we got some carpe coming together, but uh, just showing you like the the turnaround on, on six or seven places on components and whatnot. And that really isn't, that's 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 pretty nice. So it, it's, it's, it's not as, I had definitely put a lot more time into doing that than it was taking down the plates over there. But I we need more components and stuff to get on the next thing. Cause what I want to do is uh, I don't want to mess with making another miner just yet. I'd like to get to where we can go around and hit up places pretty well and see if we can. And I made some more metal. I made some basic metal because we're probably going to have to go ahead and grab the embers and make some other stuff. And I wanted to make another interactive chest and stuff. But I just wanted to show you the stuff before I start getting to work. But um, I want to go ahead and make a we're going to do an explorer and we're going to make a gas powered since we're getting gas pretty regular and see what we can afford to make with what we've gotten. So th right now I'm gonna go and get the parts together, uh, which we have is about 65 components. We have about four, we have 41 circuits, not even about. We have plenty of honeycomb for, for wheels, uh, plenty of gas to mess around, so that's oil for the shocks. And uh, we have, where did I put those other pieces? Are they still in the box? Yeah, we have these pieces here already with some tier two already. So um, I'm interested in seeing um, what we can get done with what we have. And I'm going to take out the, these lights now since we're not going to be using them for crafting or you put them in the right box. And I'll leave them in there for now. So anyway, I just want to show you that, show you what we got on our, on our run, and it, which is still very nice. Uh, no complaints there. Uh, it feels like... It feels like a little bit generous on the rewarding, but I don't. I'll take that. I, I, especially after grinding so much in vanilla, the little, the little bit more than you know. I don't think it's unbalanced. I think it's just a little strong. It's kind of how we sometimes do modded arc or modded Conan. Sometimes we'll do a season with it a little bit strong. I got another seat too, so we have three toilets now. I'm, 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 I'm racking up the toilets. We can actually put one down. We'll put it over here so we have a place to sit down when we're like doing stuff like right. Yeah. Anyway, let me start getting some parts together so we get an explorer built, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I've crafted up some more stuff. We've got plenty of uh, items to get at least something together. I also went and farmed some more clams and uh, a little bit more. Oh, I got oil at the same time. So we're th we got some. Whoa, crap! Oh god! Hello! I didn't invite you here. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll take the circuit boards. We need some more of them anyway. So uh, we still have a good amount of, um, of uh, component kits left. So we'll be able to do some nice upgrades as well. Um, probably have to do the shocks a little bit, and I'm hoping it'll get the engine up too. That way we have a decent amount of, of pull power. But we do have a good chunk of tier one metal, which I think for the first one we're going to build, we're not going to get too crazy with it. Um, no, 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 no. And do this here. And I think we need to get a bed. Um, I need to put some more cotton in there. And that, that worked out pretty good with like getting the cotton out of the mattresses. 
because now we can just we don't have to worry about going and get more cotton again. Um, and there we go. We're going to build... I might just bring a bed with me. I kind of want to build it without a bed, honestly. I kind of want to just enjoy, you know, just chillax and... I mean, but we can probably figure out something. Maybe we can put the bed and make a bed for the bed. Like, the bed could be the bed. Like, maybe make a truck and the bed is the bed. The one thing that I do like about the Explorer we've been using in vanilla is that it's open um, for the driver because it... When I did the semi, you get stuck in there and things happen and whatnot. And so I, I don't know how big of a difference we're going to do, but I would like to try to make it at least visually. Uh, one thing I did notice, too, is that um, I don't think we have as many problems with them breaking chests as I initially had thought uh, it would happen from it. So I'm going to do something that's outside of it, I think. Um, and how heavy is the plastic? I, mean, I wanted to check that since we had so much of it. Did I, put, did I put you in here? I did. All right, let's grab the plastic, too. Maybe we could do some stuff with that, too. Uh, durability is is suck. Okay. <laughs> is suck. I'm, I'm really good with words today. Um, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, actually, we'll do it inside because it might get dark while we're building. But let's just get something together. Um, you guys know how to do a standard issue kind of builds. I think that's kind of what we're going to do here a little bit. But I would like to make it, like, maybe have, a like I said, a bed on it. Like a, a truck bed or something. Maybe we could do something like that. That's really... I did that. I placed that super, super duper good. Um, and, you know, instead of doing a fast forward right quick, let's just see what we can get out of this. Actually, we need to do a wider wheelbase. I'd like to do maybe about, like another round out and just see how the... Did I grab the bed? I did. Good job, John. And if we put that inside... Oh, wait, we'll go inside. Hmm. So, let's see something here. Um, I'm going to... I went and farmed that so I could make more of these... We may end up using some plastic on it initially so I can make some more chests. We have been making a lot of chests today. Let's do four of them. I wish I had a way to cancel stuff too because I was thinking, well, maybe we should check that, but it's too late now. Um, And I was thinking, so these are about three deep. So what if we did it like that and had them there and then put the bed inside of that? Make it with the, the, the pillows at the top. We want it towards the seat, please. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Finally. And at least the bottom needs to be metal, I would have to say, just so we have a good center of gravity on this thing. Alright, and I do have some pipe that we had gotten from taking disassembling the other place. That might not be enough. Uh, and we do want to have shocks on it, just so, you know, it makes driving a lot smoother. Let's bring you out a little bit. Maybe right here-ish. We could actually bring it out more and then put our, our engine actually in the engine spot. Hmm... Maybe maybe one more. Actually, you do want to do one than one that way. I think the beds actually that could get destroyed. I only did two. Uh, let me toy around with this. I would normally do fast forward here, but it's not really that big of a thing, and I build these kind of things all the time. So let me at least get something together here, and we can check it out when we're done. You guys, hold on. All right, welcome back, and I got something together. It's real. It turned out to be kind of like what I've built before. I'll be honest. It's not like super duper like crazy. Oh my god, look at this! But it is functional and it is. Oops. And just pointing the lights backwards. My bad. There we go. Right there. We need to add some lights. Oh, I have some more lights back at the at the ranch. Um, I, I don't want to paint this thing. I probably paint the lights, but I don't want to paint this thing. Um, this is the first thing getting together. I, I'm enjoying like the more basic approach to be getting off like and just trying to fulfill needs at the moment. Um, granted, we have more mats than we did, like, la the, the vanilla season, but that's obvious. But we also, like, I have to go farm more components and things like that, which I won't mind. But this will make going to farm those components easier. And this thing doesn't have to be together forever. So what I can do now is have an extraordinary amount of, of, of component of stuff together. You know, a, a sort of, like, a better way to go farming for, you know, POIs. Because if you look at this compared to that... This isn't even that good in either sense of either being a miner or a, an explorer type thing. It's just a quick hybrid. I got nothing. Let's try something out. Which, by the way, you notice there's two drills now um, on on suspension to make it easier, and it, it looks good like that. And it's, okay, anyway, so uh, this is this is the same kind of uh, point of view here. I have an extra one. Great. Uh, let's put you right. There we go. Just for now. This is just a just for now. I did side these forward one because I wanted to put the engine kind of safe. The engine is level three. So that's what we have in there. I'm going to put I like that right there just to give it a little bit of extra protection. And I did put stone inside the front because it has a little more weight to it. Just to kind of kind of keep the uh, 
the everything like kind of like you know whenever i'm accelerating it goes well the back shocks themselves are level four front shocks are level three it used up all the components uh kits i think i, oh, I saw three there but i never grabbed any from back here i don't believe so i still have some here i have 20 left hmm really I think anything right now without knowing what I want to do, it would be a waste of an upgrade. I'd probably, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and up these. Because um, that way that we have even shocks across the board of, of at least like level. And yeah, it did raise it up a little bit. You could see it kind of jump up a little bit. So that 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 might be have been good right there. And I went up a little higher than I normally do. So I have better clearance since this is pure explorer. Less chance of getting things caught on it. It does have a little bit longer wheelbase, but I did make it wider. And I did not. Oh, I think a... Haybot came through and destroyed my stuff. So I think we're set up okay for an explorer, and it's getting nighttime now. So we'll head back. I left the gas easier to get to, but the sides are protected. Again, with experiences I've had playing in, in single player, you know, everything like that, like I haven't had any issues with chests getting destroyed. Uh, let's look at their stats, by the way. I forgot to do that. We're going to look at that. What are their stats? Yeah, they have a decent durability. And I think right now, the way I play, I, I'm good with it like this. I mean, if we come across the big old farm bot, that's a different story. We're not even equipped to even handle one of those right now. So it's it's fine. It's fine. I think we're good. I think this is this will work for now. It's what we need. Um, the main thing about this episode, too, was to get a, check out the recycler. And again, like, it's insane what we got out of that, honestly. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it, dep it depends, you know, again. And if you don't like it just, just and you're using the mods, just don't make a recycle bot or, you know, have some self-control on that. It's, it's up to the individual. I, 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 for me, I enjoy, like, like I said, I want to go do a little bit of everything type of stuff. So give me another reason to go to one of those POIs and break it down for stuff is cool. But I also still want to build cool machines. Ooh, there's, there's chests over here. Ooh, there's two of them. Uh, three of them. God, I, I still want to do some cool machines and stuff like that. Actually, it's night. So you probably, look at that. Component kits right there. Bam. Um, you know, it's, that's part of the fun of it. So I'm hoping that you know the next build, too, we'll get into some of the blocks we have available. I just did not... I feel like right now we're just now getting over a little bit of a hump to build some of the, this better stuff, but we'll be getting into like, you know, the, the angle blocks that we've been missing. We'll be adding some of the cool looking piping. We'll be able to do some of the other pieces, you know, that just look pretty awesome. So, and that's something to look forward to, like to be able to actually craft those. I mean, I got to find a good Ember Force before we can get into some, a heavy amount of tier two, tier three, which is also what this could help out with. Um, but you guys know what the deal is. I think this video might be a little bit shorter than normal one, so I'm sorry because that is the time I got for today. I've been doing this for several hours today, but it's been really fun and exciting. I've really enjoyed it. Just wanted to let you guys know that um, uh, the frustration, like I said before, of spending hours of grinding for mats, building something, and then not being able to actually use it. It was just been, it was starting to wear a little bit, and I don't want to get like that because I genuinely like the game, and I'm hoping that it gets dev'd in a, in a way... That, that ends up having more fun and longer longev longevity through each gameplay. So either way, though, I'm really having a good time. Hope you guys are liking it, too. Tell me what you think about the recycle bot down below, because I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Remember, and if you really don't like it, uh, and it, please keep it, you know, it's like nice. And if you guys don't like responsibility, please respond nicely. And we're here to all have a good time. Let's keep it that way. Either way, thank you guys so very much. And you all have a good night.